fellow diamond painting addicts and welcome back to Diamond Painting Anonymous. I'm Daphne and I'm here today to show you guys how I store my completed diamond paintings. I get questions about that all the time and questions about what portfolios I use, where I got them, how I store everything. And so I thought, you know, I now have enough uh, diamond painting stored that I thought I would just share with you guys how I do it. This is my smallest size portfolio. And you can see these are called A3. You can get these at most budget companies for pretty inexpensively. This is one that I got from somewhere. I think paint some way or somewhere. You can get them almost anywhere. This is one that I got off of Amazon, but they're the same size. And you can see this one is getting pretty full. I've actually got, you can see that little tab there. That is where my paintings from 2022 end and where my paintings from 2023 begin. So you can see I've got my smaller diamond paintings all put in here. So what I do is I have black card stock that fits in these sleeves. And when I finish a painting, I will use double-sided tape and then I just attach it to the black card stock after I've trimmed off the edges and then I will put it in here so it looks nice and pretty. So you can see these are my penguins that I finished. Here's my little bird that I finished on our previous trip to Canada. So that's how I store my smallest diamond paintings. So my 30 by 30s up to about, I think 40 by 60 will fit in here. I do have an older portfolio. I have four of these. I have these two and then I have two other ones downstairs, which I'll take you down there in a bit to show you my other portfolios. Uh, one of these black ones is completely full. And then I have another one that is blue that is like that, that I have stored a bunch of my special drilled diamond paintings in. I try to keep them a little bit separate because when you're talking about special drill paintings, of course the special drills stick up more. Than just a regular round or square drill so you can see here these are kind of it's a lot more bumpy so at some points I have gone through and pulled out and like my blue one just has special drill kits in it uh, but I do try to kind of keep them in some kind of order I don't know why just because I do because that's how I like to be organized these may get pulled out and this may become another special drill painting holder but these are what I have and I'll stick links to this one down below and if I can figure out where I got that one I'll stick a link down there but like I said those you can get at pretty much any of the diamond budget diamond painting companies uh, I'm sure on AliExpress or anywhere else that you want to look I just happen to get mine on Amazon because that's easiest for me these are my two smallest ones then I have a medium size a large and an extra large I apologize in advance, the audio and the lighting may not be great because it's those are all stored in my spare empty room in the basement, but we're gonna head down there so we can look at those portfolios and I will be right back. Okay guys, so uh, apologies for the acoustics and uh, the lighting in here. This is the empty bedroom, which is where I store most of my completed diamond paintings, except for the ones that are in the two smallest portfolios. So as you can see, this is my 18 by 24 portfolio. And I want to say I got this from Mr. Art. I'll look it up and I'll stick a link uh, down below. But so this is for anything 18 by 24 or smaller, which is usually 40 by 50s, 50 by 60s. You can see there's my mermaid. Um, there's the eagle that I did. There's my Diamond Art Club Phoenix. So paintings these size go in this one and I have two this size this one is not full yet I have a second one that you can see laying back over there in the background that I eventually will fill up as well these were not very expensive I got them when they were on sale at Mr. Art you can also find things this size on Amazon though I don't know what price point they'll be at or whatever so these are my two what I call middle size portfolios the ones you've already seen are my smallest and then I have my large, which I currently actually don't use. And is this portfolio right here. And this is just one of these kind of flimsy art portfolios, you know, that is made for 
people who are transporting um, unframed pieces of art. So art students, that sort of thing. It's got a big strap so you can carry it over your shoulder. It zips all the way, it's got several pockets. And I actually got this one eons ago because I was storing my kids' art in it. This portfolio is actually currently empty. So this is my large. Then I have my extra large portfolio and let me show you that one. This is my extra large portfolio. And this is literally meant to house a television, a flat screen television, so that you can carry it. It's meant for people who need to transport a TV for like work purposes, to use it as a display and all that kind of stuff. So it's got all kinds of pockets on it and everything and weird handles, uh, extra straps, because you know it assumes that whatever's in here is gonna be pretty heavy. It's got this Velcro flap and then down each side it has zippers that you can unzip and I apologize for my shaky camera work guys I'm down here like I said in the bedroom so anyway you uh, unzip it and it unzips all the way down the sides and then this is where I've got all of my large diamond paintings stored so you can see here this is my Lenore this is a seahorse that I did um, Mrs. Havisham's in here my uh, Jeune Fille by Oraloa, my uh, Chuck Pinson by Vibrant Italy is in here. If I can get to it, <laughs> there's, there's Vibrant Italy. I've got uh, my Distracted by Diamonds. There's a couple of crafties in here. And these are just ones that I didn't want to frame, but I didn't have anywhere else big enough to store them. And so this was my solution. And like I said, I will stick links to all of these down below. I don't actually remember how much this one was and I got it on Amazon. But like I said, you know, some of these paintings, they're just so big, there's really no place else to put them. I could hang them, I suppose, but I thought this was a better solution because it keeps the dust and dirt off of them. So when I'm done with a painting, I just come down here and I unzip the sides. And when I've put it in there, then I just come back and I zip the sides and I flip the Velcro thing back up and I'm good to go. And I could transport them this way. My intention had been to put pieces of cardboard in between each one. Didn't work out doing that because it's stored here. It's just laying flat so I don't need to worry about that. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to be uh, doing with all of these, you know, at our, whenever we finally move. So I've got to figure something out as well as actually something to do with the uh, ones that are in those portfolios. I could take them with me, but it's quite heavy. Honestly, I don't know if I want to. Once I've got the pictures and everything, I don't know if I need to hang on to the diamond paintings. I just didn't know what else to do with them. Maybe I'll, I'll visit a thrift shop and um, find some very inexpensive frames and frame them that way. Or maybe I'll just start trying to find good homes for them. Who knows? I just wanted to show you guys all my portfolio storage. I get so many questions about it. Even though it is a bit unusual like I said this is actually TV storage it's not made for art necessarily but it works for me so I think sometimes you just kind of have to think outside the box rather than you know going to an art supply place or going to Amazon and looking strictly for art portfolios maybe just look for storage solutions and see what else you can come up with and I think I stumbled across this this particular one because I was trying to find something that would be big enough for I think it was my uh, very first diamond art club which was grandiose Greece and I'll stick a picture of that over there and I just didn't have anywhere to put it and I didn't want to leave it out and just let it be gathering dust it's still in there by the way I found this and thought you know what I'm gonna try it we actually had a flat screen TV at the time that we were using for something else and so my husband and I thought you know if it doesn't work for my portfolio we'll use it for that it ended up working and I've had it ever since so there you go my um, medium portfolios my large portfolio down here in the bottom that doesn't really get used because most of them go here in my extra large portfolio which is the tv storage thing that's it for me today guys thanks for sticking around to the end of the video i hope you found this video about portfolios interesting before you leave don't forget to do all the things if you like the video give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and hit that bell notification icon so that you can be informed of future uploads and as always guys Thanks so much for watching.